Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Microsoft Power Tools, where I teach everything analytics and automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate birthday emails to your colleagues at work. In 2021, birthday celebration might take a new turn, moving from hard card to e-card. It is safer that way because you don't have to see a lot of people touching it and the message can still be passed across. And take for example, think of any level of customization that you want, you can also still achieve it at this level. No wonder one of uh, my subscribers on our channel asked a question. It's a fantastic. I like the example of birthday wishes. So my question is this, how do I construct my flow to look up a list containing many celebrants and send birthday wishes to each of the celebrants on their own specific date. Two, I would like to customize different messages based on the gender of the celebrant. How do I achieve this? Three, is it possible that when my message is going out, it carries an image with it? Let's say an image of a cake should be in the body of the email. Four, I would also like to have a color code for my image based on the gender of the celebrant. How do I go about this? To simplify this, I brought out some four different things. Number one, how do we look up a list of celebrants? How do we customize message based on gender? How do we add image attachment even our email on Power Automate? And how do we you know, change the color code for that image design in the email? I've prepared some resources that will help us to achieve this. First, I have I've composed message based on gender. For male, this is what I have for male, and for female, this is the message that I have here. Also, I have a list. Take note, this is Excel online. You can actually get this done by creating your list on your Excel on your desktop, but make sure you put it in your OneDrive folder that your power to me to be reading from. That makes it accessible online. I've created this and I make sure that I highlight everything and format it as a table. You can choose any of this format, but your data on this Excel should be in tabular format because that's what you're going to read in Power Automate. And I, if you see, I have the name, the first name, the surname. I have the birthday. I've converted it to number. Ensure you put it to number. The month of birth, which is MOB. No, this is 10th of January. I don't need the year. What's the relationship? Is it my manager? Is it a friend? The email and the gender. That's first. Second thing is I have as well in my capacity I have birthday graphics. I have designed birthday graphics. You know, I use PowerPoint. I did a video on how to use PowerPoint to design graphics. You, know, you can check out that playlist on my channel. So this is for female. You know, I put this color you know, cupcake image and this is for male. So these different images is going to go out based on the agenda. And lastly, um, coming back to Power Automate now, where I'm going to create my flow. This type of flow is automated. I'm um, sorry, it's scheduled flow that runs every day at a certain time. So I'm going to create a scheduled flow. I call it Bear the Wishes. Starting today, and what time? I'm going to set the time to time zone is uh, let me set it 12 let me just set it to one first how frequent once every day so every day i'm gonna create the first thing i need to do is to look up you know retrieve all this value from the excel and that's why you need this excel online action card which is list rules present in the table i want to retrieve every value that are present on my table where is the excel files stored so my OneDrive for business, what document library, OneDrive, where is the file? So I have to click on this show picker to pick the file itself, which is, scroll down, which is birthday list, that is the Excel file. And then it's going to ask me to select the table. If you do not format your Excel as a table, you will not be able to select anything here. You can proceed. As you can see, it is compulsory. I'm going to click on this table. So I have it now. The next step is to add a condition. 
and in this condition i want to check if month is equals to january and if day is equals to 10. let me start with first select just say month so everything is now inside the loop cool and for that reason just come here and put a compose action and you see why we are using the compose action that same month i want to bring it up here so this is it i need to retrieve this value i need to convert this value to integer it's coming as string even though it is number type but still coming as string and for me to retrieve it if i type my expression and i'm trying to locate it i won't be able to get it there if i come to dynamic content i can't find it here which looks somehow but how do you then retrieve it to be able to convert it that's why i make sure i have this compose here you can then do what we call pick code pick code will allow you to see the variable you are breaking that action card into code so that's what we have there then i can copy what we have here from items and leave out the heart symbol what that means is i'm adding my month of birth why don't why can't i do the question then is why can't i do the same thing here if you come here the p code is not always activated for a conditional uh, a conditional action card i'll come back and then come to my expression type int and then paste i have it there so this way i'm converting that month of birth and i'll come back here again and look for this equivalence which i will be able to get in my expression that is int i need month here i need to do int format date time i want to format my date time and extract month utc now and what do i need from utc now month and convert that month it's going to return the month number to me but i need to wrap it with integer so that that string can be converted back to an integer and i can then compare an apple to apple so i'm going to click ok so i have them here remember that is not all i have two things i also have day of bed so i'm also coming here for this guy i'm going to put the day of bed there do the p code so that i can you know just select day of bed same manner all right then come here add another and and this time around i'm coming to my expression int i'm gonna paste cool then the equivalence here day of month day of month i'm gonna put int day of month and which month where's the date value here that is the utc now utc now gives me the date and time at the moment so i have them here now I'm okay with this guy i can now delete my compose because i just use it to retrieve those code now i'm going to add another action i need to know if the gender is the condition if the gender is male or female what do i have now i'm looking for gender if gender is equals to male mind the way you are typing it it is type two case because that's also what i have here male and female Okay, I have this condition, which I can then save my work now, just to save. Alright. The next here is to then start composing my message, because if it is male, I need to send message, otherwise it's going to be female, then I will send male. But before that, I need to retrieve, get file content. Remember, I have an attachment I want to send alongside with that email. So, use this one drive, because that is where I'm saving my attachment, get file content. And I have to use this uh, show picker to select the exact file for male gender, birthday flow graphic design. And I'm going to see, nope, I'm looking for male. So I have male. And let's compose a message now. Send email. Send an email. What am I sending it to? The gender, I'm sorry, email. And what's the subject? Mm happy birthday let me call the person by his name first name the content um, i have to come here and copy that yeah so i have it here 
then remember to always put your importance to at least normal that way your mail won't sound you know look somehow you know when it's with low importance it just suggests that um, i mean i can just abandon it and not check it then i need to have my content when i come to attach my content i'm going to see the file content that's the image then what is the name i'm going to call it birthday card underscore card remember the file extension png is a png file so in my email here as a there's a place there that i want to mention the relationship i have the, with the person as a so i'm going to locate relationship now so if you read the mail we were brought together by work like others but you have changed so much about me as a whatsoever relationship is i am always proud of the times we share together in the last race is five days of your life let's put of your life or ever since we've met may this new age open a brighter chapter for you happy birthday to you you see that i'm going to say this so we are done for male gender we're coming to the other one which is female get file content i still need to retrieve the file content from one drive use the show picker root this is the folder and here is female then I have to compose my mail again. Send email, send an email. Who am I sending it to? I'm going to use the dynamic content to retrieve the email. And subject is happy birthday. Mention the first name. What is the email content? I'm coming back here. I'm going to retrieve it here. Yeah, I have it here. Um, don't forget, you need to set your email importance and i'm going to put this one at normal can you say that now let's read the content we have for the female gender beautiful within and without was the first word that came to my mind when i first saw you at work the times we have shared together has not proved otherwise may this new age bring you more smiles and progress happy birthday okay let's then add Happy birthday. Okay. Most nice. Snow proof. Okay. Let's just use that and I'm going to save. We've saved now and we are good to go to test our flow. For the purpose of test, I have made sure that there's a date that is on today and the month is today. So we expect something to run. Alright, because of, I'm going to trigger this flow, otherwise I just edit and set, you know, when it should start running instead of putting 00, zero set a date. But let's test. When you test manually, you're able to force it to trigger instead of waiting for the set time, which is what I'm doing now. Okay, we're running the flow now and let us see if it's going to work. Voila, it worked. So let me check my, oh, I just got mail. Happy birthday, hola. Wow. You see, do you see the experience? We were brought together by work like others, but you have changed so much about me. As a friend, that was a relationship. I'm always proud of the times we shared together in the last three, six, five days of your life or ever since we met. May this new age open a brighter chapter for you. Happy birthday to you. You see the experience, and lo and behold, the image is there. The birthday card is here, and that's so you know interesting. Do you see that? It makes a lot of sense, and I love this. All right, do you see that there are several areas, several ways you can use this within your organization? Let's see how the flow you know worked. Hmm, it worked. For the next guy, it's going to equate to force. That is why it's not running because I'm the only one whose birthday is today. Others are not running. And because the trigger is a recurrence action card, 
you don't need to come back here every day as you've set it maybe 10 a.m it keeps you know get triggered and check evaluate anyone that as many as they have on that day is going to send that mail to them let me know in the comment section how you also want to use this in your organization yeah this is that year that it's going to find more relevance you might not be able to sign that hard um, birthday card again hard copy but you can always make up something for your team or even for yourself don't forget if you are getting more value from this please subscribe to my youtube channel i'm still going to keep uploading use cases like this thank you